with me, Dewi, for I Indonesia, where you will see Indonesia from the eyes of the locals. So today, maybe you're wondering why there are so many jeeps behind me. It's because today we're going to have the lava tour to Merapi. My friends are already at the jeep and let's go. To go to Merapi, you should just head north to Kaliurang area which will take around one hour on a vehicle. There are three options for the track of the Merapi Lava Tour, which is short, medium, and long. The short one is only 350,000 rupees and can be done in a shorter time. But if you're up for more adventure, you can take the long one, which includes a motor trail. The price of 350,000 rupees includes insurance for four. So actually the Jeep is only for four people but if you have more than four then the additional people does not include insurance. Before you take this lava tour, make sure you put your mask on, which is provided by the management. Okay guys, so now we just arrived at the first part, which is the museum. The museum is called Sisa Hartaku. So this basically is the remaining of the eruption that happened in 2010. So I'm quite curious as well, let's go. As you walk into the museum, you directly see an animal skeleton. Okay guys, so now I am in the museum. This is an evidence that the eruption happened on a Friday, November 5th, 2010. So yeah, this is in the museum, you know exactly when it happened. There are actually a lot of items in the museum, like what I see right now. There are forks and spoons on the table, but don't forget guys, you're not allowed to touch them. As you take a walk around the museum, your driver can actually tell you a lot of things of how the eruption happened. Around the museum, you can also see a lot of writings. So either it is poetry or messages on life to remind you how valuable your life actually is.
Okay, so seeing everything in this museum really makes me have goosebumps. Imagining how the eruption actually happened and really how it affects all the people. So we're done with the first spot, now we're going to the second spot. Let's see what's next. So now we have arrived at the second spot, it's called Batu Alien or translated into Alien Rock. I have no idea what it looks like, so let's find out together. I couldn't really see the face until my friend actually told me the position of the eyes, nose, and the mouth. So now, I can actually say why it's called the alien rock because here if you see this is the eyes the other one over there the nose and here's the mouth so if you actually see at this from a distance it does look like a face or how they call it like an alien So you can see that right behind me, this is because of the eruption that happened. Before it was just mountains and now that the lava actually runs down from the top of the mountain to the bottom, you can see that it actually makes like a canyon. Okay guys, because we took this short track, this is now the last spot, the third spot. This is the bunker. So let's go in. Okay, so I am right now inside the bunker. As you can see, it's not that big. I think it can accommodate maybe 100 people. And this one here in the middle, this is sand. This is actually just naturally formed. That's why they say the Marapi sand is really good because you don't need any cement or anything to make it firm. They'll just be like this by itself.
have seen everything for this short Marapi trip. It's a wrap. Thank you for joining us. This is Dewi Afresh and Lagap Walam for iIndonesia. See you next time.